All right. Good afternoon, everyone. So it's nice to be here again. So I'd like to thank uh, ISOG for giving us the opportunity to again to uh, uh, help bring to you the latest tech update, especially about cybersecurity. So for today's session, so as we begin to our cybersecurity journey, I'd like to walk you through on how to streamline cybersecurity with platformization. Anyone F1 fans here? How many have watched F1 Singapore? Kudos to Tim McLaren. So I myself, I'm not a, a fan of F1, but I got one friend who is fan of F1. And I asked him why he's so thrilled about F1. He told me that it's about the thrill of the chase, the team, and of course the drivers, right, to cheer them up. And I think one of the things that he mentioned as well is all about technology. Do you know that every time that these machines, this uh, F1, have been, you know, they're trying to redesign it, you know, they, are a they spent countless hours of design and engineering, and the technology is to the next level. And similar to cybersecurity, you know, it's all about, you know, we're one, we wanted to check on our adversary, especially the threat actors. And basically, these threat actors are using the same technologies as ours. So if we go head to head with them, what are they using? They are threat actors, they got people, they got their own processes as well. At the same time, they're using the same technology as us. And more often than not, they are far more using the technology against us compared to them. And for this reason, no, as what Sterling Moss had mentioned, no, to achieve anything, to win this game, right, you have to prepare to double in the boundary of disaster. We have to be prepared in all of those areas, especially with those threat actors. So let me explain why. So attacks are happening faster than organization that can respond. So imagine 44 days, about three years back, no, in order for you to compromise, to exfiltrate. You know, as you've seen it over the past couple of years, it evolves, it improves to our disadvantage. From 44 to 35 days, and the latest that we've seen so far, it's in hours. And the problem as well is that we don't know, even in minutes right now, they could actually do compromise and exfiltration as well. Uh, one thing I'd like to take a look at as well is that even right now, security operations evolve. And we are, we do have our antivirus, uh, SIEM, EDR, and then if we see some any attacks that may be able to help suppress those attacks, we put in additional tools as well to help guard the business. No? And as we evolve, we add additional features as well, additional tools. Well, this is not a flawed strategy. No? Many companies are using this. But the question right now is, are we adding these tools at the cost of complexity? Are we doing more harm in the business rather than we are safeguarding the business? So it's a question of, it's a balance between, do I need to add more tools to help combat the cyber threat attacks? Or is it, or question, is it doing more harm than I could be able to defend the business? No? And to that, it creates more alerts, more screen, and more fatigue. And the problem is, basically on our people. So analysts, ID team, the security team as well on that note. So these are the things in which they are uh, experiencing to help combat these issues. So anatomy of an attack. So basically this is one of those things in which our unit for two was able to check. You know, for us or for them, the able to infiltrate takes about seven days uh, impact. Assess and contain takes about three days. And for them to get remediated, it takes about another five days. It takes about, if you sum it up, it's all about 15 days to be able to stop the attack. And meaning to say, two weeks of no business. Two weeks of having an impact of that particular attack. So as I mentioned, speed matters, no? And these are the things, or these are the statistics that we've seen so far. Let's take, for example, in order for them to build ransomware, 
Last 2021, 22 takes about 12 hours. But right now, today, even as less than three hours, could be able to detect with all of those things. And imagine if we are able to, to help infiltrate or if that particular attack is far faster compared to what we can remediate or detect, this is a big problem for us. So, uh, good examples, expeditors, logistics company has been a pepin with 350 locations and 18,000 employees. And then last, oh, two years, two, thousand, two years back, they got a ransomware attack. And the problem, they've been a shutdown for three weeks. So, expeditor is like an Uber in shipping. They don't own the ship, they don't own the freight, but they do all the movements with coordinate using their global systems. But apparently, they were ransomware, and apparently these are the things that they uh, have lost with $40 million loss, $20 million. And the bad thing there is that there's a lot as well coming from their customers. So rising AI-driven attack tools, fraud GPT. I'm sure you're using chat GPT and fraud GPT. That's the dark side of the chat GPT. It's now available on the dark web. In as low as, what, $200 per month? And you don't need a skill set to do that. And basically, they can do all of these things. So in just a matter of time, they could launch an attack at any time. And the reality of where we are today, the sophistication of attacks is present. The speed on how they launch those attacks is impeccable. And sometimes, uh, I pity the SOC team because they're, true, they're trying to do all their best to help alleviate the attack. But due to manual processes, it's a big... Uh, uh, hardship for them, no? And then, of course, the complexity with those tools. And cybersecurity is about keeping the bad guys out. And I know we've been doing this for so long. But I think, for me, you know, it's about thinking about cyber resiliency. How about keeping, you know, the, the bad guys out while running your business? It's not how many attacks that you stop, but it's how many time so how fast can you respond can you detect and able to recover on those particular attacks and this is where i'd like to point out we could actually help out that uh, in this era as i mentioned complexity is uh the enemy number one no? so we've been there this is where we are now and i think it's all about the uh, a couple of uh, security vendors and from the customer perspective some more than you know they got more confused at the same time which ones to, to use. And not to mention as well, the average security tools of what we have today. I've seen a couple of them. And I, I think the, the learning matter here is about the four days to investigate and 212 days before they, they could do the dwell time. And there's this uh, approach coming from Gartner called Cybersecurity Mess Architecture, wherein the intent is to integrate all these security tools cohesively with a centralized data plane, centralized control plane. And the goal is to enhance the detection, enhance on how fast can we respond. And this is an approach wherein I'd like to ask customers to have a look about the cyber security mesh architecture. And this is basically where we could actually help from a platform strategy, from network, from, from cloud, and from, uh, of course, definitely from SOC. And of course, these are all AI-based outcomes. And uh, truth of the matter is we could actually consolidate from four to seven vendors with a platform security. Of course, definitely with SaaS in there as well. The cloud to cloud, the cloud security is one of those areas in which there's an area of improvement. And last but not the least is the autonomous op app uh, platform. And meaning that we have the produce unified consoles across these three platform domains. And I think from a SOC perspective, from an IT perspective, these are the things that you would want. One single pane of glass that cross across these different tools that can help elevate. And uh, speed matters, you know, at the end of the day. So as I, you know, from our perspective, we eat our own dog food. And these are the statistics that we're able to get coming from our, from our uh, SOC, no? 
And basically, there are 36 billion events, 11 million alerts. And I think truth of the matter right now is with all of this, truth of the matter is we be able to react mean time to respond for 10 seconds, one minute to respond. And of course, with about uh, close to uh, 15,000 employees, we have about 16 uh, FTE, meaning say 16 SOC analysts. And uh, from that perspective, we got this one customer, we able to uh, help address their issue, get all those log sources, third party log sources, it's not just us, but third log party sources, uh, AI using AI analytics, incidents, all of those are automated from two days down to 15 minutes. And that's a lot. I'd like to bring down this opportunity to winning the adversary, no? It's, it's all about changing a mindset on how can we rival against, you know, the, our adversaries. One is consider automation first in. Second is the AI-driven tools. Last but not the least is... Of course, platform organization to streamline cyber resiliency. So for those who have additional questions, I'm just behind the booth out there. And then, you know, just I will see you around. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Robert. The bid. Um, he did mention that attacks are happening faster. Faster than he can speak in 10 minutes. Faster than organizations can actually respond. Um, you know, I guess we're trying to keep the bad guys out, but what do we do? I mean, there's so many vendors out there. I mean, trying to balance the act of adding more tools uh, to help combat the attacks or is adding more tools really um, doing more harm than good? So all that, you can always talk to Jobbert a bit more later on. What if we could see cyber threats in real life? They would be everywhere, always watching, looking to gain access to our networks, clouds, and applications. Yesterday's technology can no longer stop them, but they can be stopped with consistent cybersecurity that protects work everywhere. Zero trust with zero exceptions by Palo Alto Networks. We've got next.